Still here. Of course, my Thane. Before I pledged my sword to Jarl Balgruf and you, I led the life of a traveling mercenary selling my combat skills for gold. On the contrary, life was painfully boring. The people around here only ever hire the companions for the exciting tasks, while the rest of us are left with nothing but glorified bodyguard jobs. So no, I usually only escort people from town to town and carry their burdens. Until I met this one client, who showed me a whole different world. Would you believe it if I told you? It's because my stomach reacts badly to alcohol? Your Vasker is the mead hall of the Companions. So naturally, the Companions socialize by feasting and drinking together. The non-drinker can never fit in. Better that I don't humiliate myself by drinking water over mead there. Huh. Trick question, was it? You wanted to call me a milk drinker. I'm not going to fall for that. Well, not exactly. Just that my stomach tends to act funny after three cups of mead. Since then, I've learned how to drink without vomiting, but I doubt I'll ever develop an appetite for alcohol. He was a priest of Mara looking for a bodyguard to escort him to Dawnstar. Said something about finishing what he started. At first, I thought it was just another boring escort job, but things quickly took an intriguing turn. The first night of our trip, I had a nightmare so vividly horrendous, yet I couldn't wake up from it. Then this priest, Erendur, bestowed Mara's blessings upon me. Although the nightmare persisted, it was somewhat diminished. It was then I learned his true mission. He was on a quest to free Dawnstar from a similar nightmare curse. The next few nights, I tried my darndest not to fall asleep. So I asked him to tell me jokes, stories, basically anything to keep me awake. And you know what he told me instead? Mara's doctrines. How she loves us and we ought to love our neighbors. No, it actually got me interested in Mara and the Divines. You see, it's not just about your message, but also the way you convey it. Dare I say, Erender was quite the effective preacher. Not really. He only required me to escort him to Dawnstar, where he'd handle the rest. Although I would have loved to learn more about Mara from him if we had more time. Of course. The Companions offer combat trainings to their own. Maybe you can join them and get better at fighting. Just... don't deal me in. I can't bear the thought of drinking ten bottles of mead every night. At least that's what I heard they do. I decided to set my mercenary work aside and embark on a pilgrimage to Riften. Not that there were many jobs available to begin with, anyway. I traveled for days until I finally reached the city of Mara, a den of crime, skooma, and paranoia. That would be an understatement. The truth is, I couldn't find any trace of Mara outside her temple. There was this woman who preached about love to me, and I thought I had finally found someone I could connect with. But I quickly realized that she practiced a different kind of love, which Mara would frown upon. What a horrible pilgrimage. I took a carriage back to Whiterun, too worn out from days of walking. But on the carriage, I reflected on my journey. Why did Mara guide me to her city, only to show the worst of it? Maybe she wanted me to start looking after my own people. Maybe I can make White run a better place, so that it won't become the next Riften. So, once I was back to White run, I pledged my service to the Jarl, a man who I deemed honorable and just. Of course. When news of Helgen's dragon attack reached us, House Carl Irelith realized she would have to defend the city from those flying beasts. But if she were to do so, the Jarl would be left unprotected, which is why they needed a let's say, temporary house Carl. Correct. I was, after all, the one fighter with the most extensive experience as a bodyguard. 
So it came full circle again. I was back into the boots of a bodyguard, following the Jarl around for meetings and feasts, and just stand watching. Although the pay surely was more generous when compared to escorting caravans or priests. He only gives his friends the best. Of course.